Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how to create a SharePoint list in a SharePoint Online site and how to add some columns to that list as well. So what you need to do first is go to the site that you are going to create the list in. As you can currently see, I'm in a crisis management site and I'm on the home page. Now from the home page, you want to select the cog in the top right corner and then you want to come to site contents. So you would like to see all of the contents of the current site that you were in. After selecting site contents, you should now see everything that exists in this site. This shows all lists and document libraries. So next, if you can select new in the top left here and select list. Now for the next screen that pops up, you can have a new blank list or you can also select from an existing list. So if you have large lists already in another site or in the current site and you'd like to replicate this list, you can just choose, one, choose that list as a template and then name the new list. But for this demonstration, I'm going to create a blank list. So I will call this demo list. I do not want this to show in my site navigation and then select create on the bottom right here. So now in the next screen, there you can see is a blank list with the one field title. So next, I'm going to add a couple of columns to this list. So in the new modern experience with SharePoint, you just have to select add column here. Uh, you can choose which type of column you would like to add. I'm going to add a choice field. And in the new screen that opens is all of the information around this new column. So I'm going to call this category. And for my choices, I will have SOW proposal documentation. So they are the choices for my choice field. Once that is all complete, you can select save and that will add that column to that list. There you can see category. I'll add one more column to this list, multiple lines of text, and I will just call this description. That's fine. Click save and there you will see the description column has been added to my list. Now to add a new record to this list, you can select new in the top left and this will open a new form for this list. So there you can see the fields that I've just added to this list. So I will just put, fill out this form, client one. This is a proposal and then proposal. And you can also add attachments to this as well. So once that's all ready, I can select save. And there you can see that has been added to my list. OK, so that's just a quick video on how to create a new list to a SharePoint online site. Uh, I hope this video has helped. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And thank you for watching. Thank you.